Hey, I moved back to Nigeria nine months ago, and within two months, I fell in love with a guy. Currently, we have been dating for six months, but my issue is we hardly go out in public. All he does is ask me to come to his house and make out. Anytime I complain about our relationship being based on sexual gratification, he gets angry and reassures me of his love for me. But I don't feel he's genuine. Please advise me. Wow. <laughs> There's some things you hear, you're just thinking you are finished. Small jobs, sister. <laughs> if you are taking your name is maybe Miriam or Bosse or Sarafa, your name is Small Job. You see, the thing as a guy is there's no way a guy is dating you for six months, he says. Yeah. And doesn't take you out. You know, exactly. doesn't at least cinema. You know what maybe Mr. No, like at least Mr. Beast, eat meat pie, or exactly. don't know. Or if they say maybe he doesn't have money for that, at least go to the park. Take picture. You understand? He's just coming to make out. He's hey, a boy. As a <laughs> bad guy. As a bad guy. I think that you are smart up. There is a real <laughs> madam. <laughs> yeah, you are smart There's a madam there that is yeah. the jollof fries. Yeah. That is that is dead. Jollof fries and chicken. You are just there, you know, when someone is tired of jollof fries, yes. you just you just you just you just nourish. You know, just <laughs> nourish yeah. and just I think that you need to definitely see that out. Yeah. If you make it adamant that he takes you out yeah. to his friends gatherings not just to the places that you want to go to to the places that he would happily introduce you as his girlfriend to the world exactly you don't even i'm not telling you to grab his father or his mother or, yeah. you know to at least people that know him people that can see him and you said by his girlfriend like, yeah. i mean you're you're in love so it, it means a lot more to you than just the makeup so i think that you need to in the next month Hopefully after watching this, in the next one you need to make sure that he takes you out more, mm -hmm. takes you to the places that he goes to yeah. as his identity and yeah. he needs to relate to with you as, as that identity, as his girlfriend. Yeah. If he doesn't agree to that, pack your love, go back to London. Go back. <laughs> pack your love and <laughs> go back to London. Pack your wow. legit. Don't pack your load though. Your love, love. your load, to start love, go back to London. You will find love there. Because this Lagos man, they're not serious. <laughs> Boy, Sharon. tell us about it. Sharon. I totally agree with Bolly. Yeah. First of all, for me, love is an action word. Exactly. You cannot tell me you love me and you're not showing me love. Musical. Sex is a plus. So if we're only doing the plus without the body itself, what are we doing? Like he said, you should be able to identify with his friends, his family. If he's not even taking you to a, as small as the movies, my darling, no. He said, no, no, you're just satisfying his sexual urges. And when he's done with you, he's going to leave you. That is my own. I'm not even going to talk too much about this. That is it. You know, for me, I'm just tired of girls letting guys use them to season chicken. Legit. Let me tell you something. Okay, let's be straight. You have to keep in mind that you've only been dating him for about two months, right? So don't expect that you would have met his parents, but expect that a Nigerian man, an African man, always wants to show off something that he thinks is going to be or is a prized yeah. possession. Exactly. By now, he should have taken you out, movies, dinner dates, whatever it is. You're in the phase where the guy is supposed to still be trying to impress you. So if you're asking questions now, I don't know what you think is going to happen Later. in a couple of months. So for now, you guys should even be going out. By the time it's like five months, you should have met his friends. You should have met somebody in his family. Shoot, you should have been to his family house. I don't yeah. know. But something should have happened. Relationships are about progression. If you're not progressing, if you're talking to him about these things and he's getting upset let me tell you that upset tactic is one <laughs> tactic that guys use that you should never fall for yeah if he's upset i'm gonna get upset too exactly. we'll be upset exactly <laughs> yes don't stop it seriously and we can we both be hawk at the same stop. time if he's upset i'm gonna get upset as <laughs> well exactly because ask this guy questions and demand firm answers from him you know are we just playing around are we just fooling around know from the beginning so that if that's something that you want to do and you're happy with cool but i would definitely never advise anybody in a society like ours that is very small to waste time playing around with guys because you're gonna meet a guy that is perfect for you and you would have already done something with somebody he knows or his friend it's a waste of time yeah. i advise you to sit down with him if he's not giving you the right answers you better leave that guy nobody you're too beautiful to be kept a exactly. secret nobody has time to no sir, i'm even tired of questions i just i just feel like at this point You've watched so many movies. movies yeah. Everybody should get it by now. Yeah. You should know when somebody's playing you. If you have to write, 
I don't even to think ask you should this ask. question. You should then you, you already should know, know the answer. And you your said instinct. yourself that you don't think he's being genuine. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all your questions. And to you, Sharon and Bolly, for being here. I hope you come back again. Yeah. Thank you, Reads and Sense, for this amazing location. And to you guys back home for watching, don't forget that you can always leave your comments by hashtagging YGI on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll be here same time and same place next week, so don't forget to tune in to You've Got Issues. Thank you.